うんうんうんうんうんチェックアウトインテリア。Let me see what this thing does. The ground behind me. <laughs> pretty nice, pretty nice. It's hot to the mug in this joint. Where the air at? How many miles is on this car? 4,143. That's it. Mm. I love that right there. I ain't gonna lie. Like that. Yeah, this is a nice car for sure, man. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. So, why do I have this car? All right. So, why do I have this car? How do I get out of this mile? Okay. Little button right there. So, why do I have this car? Well, the owner wants me to do some brake caliber work. As of right now, he has the black factory calipers. He wants me to do red. He wants it to match the red seat belts, the Corvette red. He wants it to stand out with a black car, black calipers don't really do much. 
but we're gonna make it do much. We're gonna make it stand out. I'm gonna go ahead and get some red calibers uh, uh, painted on here, so it's gonna be nice. I'm backing this thing out of the garage. One thing that I'm noticing is how how much these brakes grab. Goodness. I mean, just a small tap. Well, these things are really, really tight. Wow. I'm sure these are high performing brakes. Let's see. I like that, man. I like that. Don't even worry about looking out that rear window. Instead, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, put a video on this joint. Nice camera for your rear view. Super dope, super nice. Very nice. Got the heads up display. See that? Can you see with the eye? There you go. Yep. and let's get some more some more video of this thing all right let's see what it looks like on the outside Look at the trunk. Little button right there. Boop. All right. Woo. Can you squeeze a body back there? Eh, small body. <laughs> is that motor right there? Huh? Is that an engine? This thing is so dope. Golly. All right. Let me close this joint. Soft suction. Look at that, self-closing. That's what I'm talking about. Let's check out, let me see, the hood? I don't even know how to do that. Nah, there's a display. Oh, look, here are the buttons right there. <laughs> oh, that's so dope. Let me check out the hood, AKA trunk. Look at that. Super dope. Mm. There you go. Okay. All right. Wasn't sure. Chevrolet sure has come a long way. It's crazy. I'm sure you can change the sound of the piping of the uh, exhaust. I'm sure it has that option. Now over here you have a 1966 Corvette. And the next to it, I think you have like a 2014 or, or 17 or something like that. The yellow one, a Stingray. So yeah, people over here like Corvettes. You already know what I like, Mercedes. But I respect all makes and models, especially something this high end and this exotic. This thing is crazy, bro. All right, so I gotta move some cars around, hold on.
profile of this car looks so crazy. This C8 is crazy. I, I, I know I like them on the road, but it's different when you have one temporarily in your possession. You're able to walk up around, walk up on it, get up in it, walk around it, get up underneath it. You know what I'm saying? Up, down, side to side, smack it up, flip it, rub it down. Oh no. So look at the calipers. All right, now they're red, now they pop, now they stand out. This is what he's, this is what he gave it to me for, so I could do that. Yeah, now you can see the brake calipers. Before, if you look at the uh, pictures of what they look like standard, if you find the earlier video of this when I first got it, if you look at the beginning of this video, you see how it looks. The calipers are almost not there because they're black and they blend. They blend in with the shadow. They blend in with the uh, the brake system so they don't stand out. But now that they're red, they pop. It just adds to the look of the car. It's a sports car, it's an exotic sports car. It's an American muscle exotic sports car. One of the best cars America has right here. This thing competes with the Ferrari. I'm gonna assume the Lambo as well. I'm gonna assume the McLaren as well. There's a lot of high-end sports cars out here, and I think this right here is competing with all of them. Within its price range, you can't beat it. I mean, for the money, this is the best car that you could probably get for the cash for the, for the cost of the car brand new. And I'm not talking about the inflated prices that dealerships or owners add to it just because of the difficulty of obtaining one of these. So if it was 100000 I mean, people are charging 130000 150000 for these just because they're hard to get. But the MRSP, this is a great price right here. This is the best car that you can get for the money when it comes to sports cars. Now, of course, I'm a Mercedes fan, so I'll take a GT over this. But still, the GT Roaster, by the way, hard top. But anyways, this is an awesome, awesome car. If I wanted an American car, this is it. If I want to buy a Ferrari, I'll buy this instead and keep about 200000 in my pocket. 100000 This right here is it, y'all. This is it, y'all. This is it. I love this. I love this. Love it. So, you know, after doing a build or any kind of customization, you have to drive the car to make sure that when you're handing it back over, that nothing is broke. So... I am taking this for a spin to make sure that the uh, brake calipers work. Ah, I don't want a new light to pop up and for him to say, hey, this light didn't exist until you uh, did your little mod to it. So now you have to pay for it. <laughs> Might as well just uh, drive it, just to make sure that it's good before I hand it over, right? Right. You ain't gonna say nothing. Okay. All right, let's see what this thing does. or something right there it's cut out on the dashboard and then it reflects onto the uh it, yeah on the windshield so i can see it i know like cadillac or gmc they introduced that in their cars way like a long time ago back in the 90s i think late 90s heads up display i'm gonna just take it down here and turn around I don't know, what do, you, what do you think? It's a sports car. It's an American sports car, you know? Does it get your paint draws in a bunch? <laughs> it doesn't, um, if I were to be honest, like it doesn't have the, well, of course, mine was highly modified, so it's different. Like when my CL was new, before I did anything to it, it was quiet, you know? Even though it was AMG, you get, everybody talking to you, Siri. You don't hear the growl when you, you know, punch it, so. This is kind of similar. Great, glad to hear it. Get off my line, bro. So, I think there, there's a button, I'm sure, with the exhaust where you can bypass the quiet mode 
of the muffler, the, the dummy down of the sound, and then kind of like temporarily straight pipes it. I mean, you want to hear the aggressive growl. Otherwise, it's the growl that you get. I don't know what it's telling me. What it just? Speed limit exceeded. Ah, oh, you old smart car. Why you want to hear that crap? I can go all the way up here. My track that I always run cars up and down after I change or doing. Oh my God, Siri, get out! Stop listening. I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of scared to do this just because anything could happen. A deer run out, and I just bought a 2022 Corvette. Gosh. Oh yeah, the kids are at home, aren't they? <laughs> Just run up and run down. I got excited having you in the car with me. All right. You got your phone on you? All right. Your daughter probably opened the door about 10 times. Cool. I didn't get that. All right. Could you try again? All right, so time to head back. I found this on the web. Why is she listening? Mind your business, Siri. No one's talking to you. Nah, but it's very stiff, though. It's firm. I mean, it feels good. It's, it's comfortable. It's not overly stiff, though. I think it feels pretty good for a sports car, for sure. It gives me something to compare mine to, you know, as I'm making the adjustments on it. Yeah, probably the SL more than the CL. The CL is, huh? Where's that at? Oh, this, yeah, that's pretty dope, right? Yeah. Got the real, yeah, it's just a monitor, that's it. No, no, no mirror. Pretty dope. It's gonna be some kid in a uh, Mustang or a Miata coming around this mug fast. I consider washing this thing because it has so much of the, um, like the dust from the paint, whatever that kicks up. It's just dusty. It was dirty. He uh, he said it rained on the way down from uh, Dayton or Columbus or whatever. So it was clean when he pulled it out. Nice little modest drive, nothing crazy. Just get it back home safe. But also, I wanted to drive it too because I had to take the wheels off. And when you tighten the lug bolts, you gotta re I found this on the web. Oh my gosh. You gotta re tighten them after driving it for a little bit. Oh, look at the Jaguar. Oh. Hey Siri, shut up. <laughs> he said he is. <laughs> I said, yeah, I had to generate some heat, you know, to make sure the calibers were already dry before you took it off. You know, I mean took off with it, you know. Alright. So no no warning lights. Brakes are good. No suspension issues. Yeah, he wanted me to adjust the uh, coil, like coilovers, but it doesn't have like aftermarket coilovers. Like, even the factory ones, of course, are just standard coilovers where you can't adjust them. You have to pay some for some extensive mods to lower the lower this car. It's not gonna be as easy as lowering the SL. Like nah, these are not adjustable coilovers. So I told him on the phone when he called me. 
takes these bumps decently. Lots of girls on the outside. You know, crying. Hey, hey! Get the door in my car. All right, so that's that. No kids. Cool. All right. All right. That was that was our date. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, Bo? How we get out of this? <laughs> right there. Push it. There we go. Don't oh. hit a car coming by. I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mercedes be back. Yeah. <laughs> Snap, what do we have here? A C7 and a C8. Woo look at this. Yeah, look good, man. Come on, pass. Nice and slow. Woo! Yeah. All right, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, we doing some things over here, man. You might not understand. Another happy customers. So customers, plural. All right, man, appreciate it. Yes, sir. Right. Looking good, looking good. Right, okay, man, see you soon. <laughs> 